Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I have a Ulta haul for you guys. This haul, I want to say, it has been sitting here for about three weeks now. I'm, like, so mad at myself, but I was like, until I get my together and I'm able to record, I won't record and I won't do a haul. But here we are. Hopefully, the lighting looks, you know, appropriate and whatnot. Let me fix this, so. Okay, so hopefully the lighting looks nice and all that stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I purchased. If you guys are interested in this small haul from Ulta, then definitely just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you guys that I purchased, I'm kind of late to the game and all that stuff. But like I said, it's been sitting here for about three weeks, but I just haven't gotten around to touching it. I got the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Arms and Gorgeous Palette. So I haven't even swatched it. I did open it because I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken or anything like that. But yeah, I haven't touched it at all. So I'm really disappointed in myself for that. But this is what she looks like. It's a really beautiful eyeshadow palette. I think overall all the palettes in the vault that she created are really beautiful. But to keep it real with you guys, this was the one that really called my attention because I have a lot of colorful palettes. I have a lot of neutral palettes. I have, I want to say this is the second like greenish, yellowish palette that I have besides the... Um, Retro Love from Hush that I did a video on, which I have linked down below, and the um, Subculture. I did a comparison on both of those videos. Those are like really like the only like green tone, earth tone palettes that I own. So yeah, I was like, let me get another one. But this one is really pretty. I really like it. Um, I haven't swatched that at all. The colors are just brand spanking new. I don't know. How they're gonna transfer I don't know if this is the good batch the bad batch I don't know I just left it there I haven't touched it or anything so if you guys want to see me create a look with this palette let me know I know it's late but I mean regardless I'm still gonna do looks with it because I'm not just gonna let it go to waste but I want to know if you guys want to see me create any looks with this so if that's something that interests you definitely let me know and I will do that for you so the next thing I purchased would have to be this ColourPop. Um, I'm so happy that ColourPop is actually on Ulta's website, by the way. But this is one of their Super Shocks shadows. And this is in the color Twitter Padded. So it's really pretty. Um, I really like it. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. It's just like, it's not really pigmented as far as like color goes. I don't know if you can see it, but... Anyways, it does have some pink and it has some gold glitter inside of it. So I think it's really nice like a topper eyeshadow. I got it because it just kind of called my attention as well as I have some kind of looks in mind with it. And it's just something I didn't have. So I was like, why not, you know? For the longest time, I've been using the Duo Eyelash Glue, which is like really gunky and everything right here. I like to use this on myself, I like to use it on my clients, especially my brides because whether they're crying or whatever the case may be, no matter what weather, like I've done beach weddings, um, I've done um, weddings and like it's really windy and this glue holds on their eyelashes really tight and I've gotten like many, many brides say, what did you use on my lashes? Like that held they didn't go anywhere and i want you to use that anytime you do my makeup or if i do a trial you know they really like it and they want me to use it on their wedding day you know a lot of people have been saying to use the kiss eyelash glue so this is latex free and i got the clear one because clear is just what i prefer and this is what it looks like so i was going to use this a while ago but like i said duo is just all i've been sticking to this one because it's hypoallergenic and it's formaldehyde free but i really like this the only thing i don't like about it is that it has aloe so I did I have a bride one time that she was allergic to aloe so i could not use this on her if i even wanted to she would swell up like a balloon but this has aloe on it so i don't know if they make this without aloe vera or whatever the case may be but if you know let me know i don't know if maybe the black one doesn't have it 
If you know more about this, let me know because I want to get one that doesn't have the aloe in it. So let me know. I've been really on the verge of eyebrow pencils. I have been using the L'Oreal pencil. Like I have it right here. I've been using the brow stylus by L'Oreal. So NYX had a sale. So I was like, let me get an eyebrow pencil. I got the color in brunette. And... I like that it also has a spoolie like the L'Oreal one. And I think this color is going to match me a little bit better than the L'Oreal one. That's what I'm thinking. NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I typically go for the matte one. Like, you see the matte one is back there. But I wanted to try the Dewy one now that we're going to get into like the cooler months. I wanted to try the Dewy one and see how I like it for my skin. I do like Dewy Skin. I am oily combination-ish. But I do prefer more on the glowy side. So I'm finally going to give this a try and see how I like it. It's not really open. Maybe I should do that so I can swatch it for you guys. This is the NYX Vivid Bright. And this is in the color Cyber Pop. So that's what it looks like. And this is like a cream eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and take some. Oh yeah, this is nice. Woo, that's pigmented. So yeah, this is like a cream eyeshadow, really pigmented, really nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it was orange and I needed some more stuff that was on sale. So that's where this comes into play. You ever do that? Like you buy stuff knowing you don't need it, but in order to like get free shipping or get something else on sale, you like purchase something you don't need or you know what I mean, right? Okay, so I got the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and this is in the color Blackest Black. So a lot of people talk about this mascara, and they really like it. So I wanted to give it a try for myself and see what it's all about. The next thing from L'Oreal is this Infallible Paints. I like this formula. It's more on the liquid lipstick, but glossier finish. And I really like the packaging. It looks like a squeeze too, but the wand is right here. So this is an orange color as well. Really, really nice for fall. I absolutely love it. It's a really bright orange lipstick. So like, if you want a bright orange lipstick, this is what you need in your life. Another Wet n Wild concealer. I use this like no tomorrow. I used it today. I used it to prime my eyes. I used it to clean up my brows. I love this formula of this concealer. So I had to pick up another one. And the color that I use is light, light medium beige. Essence was on sale and you got, um, I forgot how much you had to spend. I don't know if it was like $15, I don't know, or $10, something like that. But you got this cute little bag and it says, find the beauty in every day, like hello, that's just beautiful. It has a deeper meaning than beyond makeup. Like, you know, you truly have to find the beauty in every day of life, you know, and not just makeup work. So I stuffed the rest of the makeup that I purchased in here, so here we go. Okay. So another orange item I got is a Vivid Bright Liquid Liner. Now I'm kind of disappointed in this because I thought it was really going to be like bright like the other ones. I have the green one, the purple one, the blue one. They're all like really bright colors. Now the orange one is not so much. Now I don't know if I got a bad one or whatever the case may be. But this is more of like the fall orange as opposed to like the bright neon orange. You know what I mean? So... It's still pretty. I'm still going to use it. It's just not what I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Where you can see it's like, it's a dark orange color. You know, it's not really like bright as I thought it would be, but it's still workable. I'll still, I'll still manage to use it, you know. But yeah, I got that because NYX again. They were having a sale, but NYX always has a sale. So I got that and we'll see what orange looks I can create. I got two NYX butter glosses and one is in the color peaches and cream. And that's what it looks like. I love these. These are quick to just put on. They give a little bit of color 
and it's something if you don't want to wear lipstick but you still want a little something on your lips you can use these and I promise you they're not sticky at all I have a whole like collection of them so this one is meringue another one of my favorite all-time favorite 100% concealers if you've been subscribed to me you know this is like my absolute favorite concealer ever so this is the Maybelline fit me concealer I use this as well to clean up my brows as a concealer to spot conceal just everything I use this for everything so mine's is in the color sans sable number 20 Jumbo Eye Pencil. If you have been following me for a long time, you know that I typically use NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk for my bright looks, which I do all the time. But I got this one. This is in the color Yogurt. And I want it's like a rose gold champagne color. It's really pretty. So I'm excited to use this as well. So it's really nice. I haven't swatched it or anything, so I'm excited to use this. And I'm thinking of using a I'm I'm thinking of doing a video using all these new products so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in like give this video a thumbs up or comment down below and I'll make that happen I got this liquid lipstick from wet and wild and it's called gunmetal heart it's from their limited edition collection like the one with the skulls and stuff so it's really like a gunmetal lipstick and I think it's super pretty it's really different so me so I pick this up called blossom glow from wet and wild I thought it looked really nice like a soft pink highlight my light is kind of washing it out but if you guys want to see me use this in a future video definitely let me know I'll do like a drugstore video yeah I should do like a first impression drugstore video that's not a good idea let me know the last item I got from NYX is this liquid suede in the color life's a beach so this is another coral orange lipstick not cakey it's not thick it's not heavy it's not sticky it dries matte and lasts a long time it's very comfortable wearing so I picked up this color essence I picked up some brushes now to create this eye look I definitely already used one I'll show you guys it open so this is the essence eye blender brush really nice it blends really nicely so I got two more of them the only thing I don't like is the packaging that it comes in like this is really flimsy like it's already popping out but that's what it looks like. It's really pretty and it, it really did the job. I think they were $1.99 on the Ulta website. So very affordable. So I got two of those. And then I got this one which is a smoky eye brush. Again, I really like the color. But I also really like that it's like a small pencil brush. So perfect for like the inner corner and to smoke out the lower lash line. Like you can't go wrong with a brush like that. And I also, I got... Two more things, three more things from Essence. So I got the Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. And I want to see if this works really good or not. So let's see. That's what the wand looks like. It's pretty tiny, so I think it's really nice to get in there. We'll see if it works or not. And I got the color Brownie Brows. I don't think they have a good um, selection of colors. But thankfully, I have like brown hair, so I'm gonna try this out and I'll let you guys know if it works, if I like it or not. Um, and then I got this lipstick, I was like decluttering my makeup and everything, and I was like, I really don't have a lot of red lipsticks, so I got this one from Essence in the color 06, and it's just a matte red because I really like blue reds instead of like orangey reds, and with the bag. I also got this. This is Be My Highlight Essence Highlight. And I actually have this already, so that's what it looks like. It's just a really nice light champagne highlight. It's really subtle, but you could build it up. That is everything that I purchased from Ulta. If you guys want me to go ahead and do like a first impressions or like a drugstore look, 
using all those products as well as if you want to see me create a look with the Jaclyn Hill palette let me know in the comments down below um, let me know which one you would like to see or if you would like to see both of them just let me know and thank you so much for watching guys and I'll talk to you guys in the next video